I'm Diana and today I'm gonna teach you how to do a makeup no makeup look. What I'm going to teach you is very easy. You will look fresh, natural, so you can go everywhere looking pretty. So let's start with the first step which is very important because we are going to cover the dark circles with the instant concealer. This product I'm gonna apply it with the ring finger, patting always from inside out. I don't look tired anymore. I really like this product from Clarence. Uh, it's not only something that covers the dark circles, it also treats them in long term. Next step, the foundation. This must match your skin color. So I want to give you a tip. When you go to the counter and you want to buy the foundation, uh, don't do it on your hand because the skin of your hand is very difficult, very different to the skin of your face. What you have to do is to try here, on the side of the jaw. That's the right way to understand which is your color. Can you see? You can see. It's very different the color. I'm gonna put this clip so I can apply the foundation properly. I like this product a lot because I'm not a big fan of foundation, so this is like two in one. It's like foundation and powder both together. Using this product, you don't have to apply the liquid foundation and then the powder because it comes everything together. So let's apply it and let's see how it works. The same thing, apply with a sponge, pat it. No, some people may make this mistake and apply things like that. This is not the right way to apply. This pat it. And we also apply it on the neck. Because it doesn't look nice when you have two different colors here. So you go down the neck, and then a little bit in the cage. So, it depends how do you feel. You can either leave it like that, or you can also apply loose powder. Remember the T-zone, where we are more greasy and shiny. You can apply the powder with a brush or with the sponge. The sponge is also like that. You apply it this way. Not like this because then you are removing the foundation. So it must be like that. I personally like more with the brush. Okay, so now let's give it some color to my face applying the blush. Let's blend it around like all colors together and then let's apply it on under the jaw this part so you can see the difference this side with the blush this side with no blush now i look different remember be gentle with the blush you don't want to look like a clown. <laughs> let's do now the eyebrows. First, let's brush the eyebrows. So let's brush it to remove the excess of powder. Then let's shape it with a pencil. Another tip. For your eyebrows, use a lighter pencil color. Don't do it darker because then you're gonna look funny and then your eyes will look weird. For example, my eyebrows are black, so what I use is a dark brown color. And as you can see, it looks very natural. Next step, I'm gonna put something now on my eyes in this part, only in this part, because remember, it's a makeup, no makeup look. So I'm gonna put this kind of white, ish creamish color in this part of the eye
Let's continue with the eyelashes. We're gonna use this. Always is before, not after the mascara. Before, remember, before. Put it here and let's scan five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. How we apply it? Do it this movement and up, like up. Take toilet paper, put it around the fingers, and then just do this to remove the excess. Last step, the lips. So I'm going to add some lip gloss. to smile. I haven't finished. I want to talk about this product that I'm very impressed with. Fix Makeup from Clarence. So this means it helps to set the makeup and promote a long lasting matte complexion. How apply it? From far, not too close. Ta -da! This is my makeup. As you can see, I didn't spend so much time and I didn't need so many products to look prettier or natural. If you like this video, thumbs up and share it with your friends so I can carry on sharing my beauty tips. And you can also subscribe to my channel down here. Thanks for watching and again in Africa. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.